Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vile Vile Vlog. And today we're only blasting New Jersey's mighty massive retaliation arms of the war god. Fuck yes, NVNM Productions. Someone release this on vinyl. It fucking deserves it. Seriously, this is so fucking good. If you've never heard Arms of the War God or Massive Retaliation, I will put links below because you need to hear this. And members of Siege Column, etc, etc, etc. You have Joe Aversnio and Tom Warrior. You know you're in for a fucking treat with these two maniacs. Everything from Death Fortress, like, holy shit. Some of the most talented underground musicians in extreme music. And I cannot wait to see Massive Retaliation live next month with Fetid, Siege Column, Witch Vomit, Dead Congregation, who actually want to hang out, which is fucking sick. But I have a gift for you guys that I may have given to you. But here is the End Times self-titled promo download. I would snag this. This is awesome. Trust me. Go watch my review if you don't believe me or go to their band camp. But press pause and snag that. So fucking sick. But today I want to go over... An upgrade I made. Hence the candle. Because I'm talking about Perverted Ceremony Sabat of Bezil on Nuclear War Now Records. I happen to finally decide after a couple months that it was time for an upgrade. And we have some rotten black metal filth that channels the old spirit of Bartheum and Beherit. Perverted Ceremony, Sebet of Bezil. Fuck yes. You have Baron Cemetery and Morbid Messiah. I was a little bummed that they cut off his white shoes. Which is why it's always good sometimes to have two different formats of an album because some have different promo photos, as here we have the infamous White Kicks on Morbid Messiah. But that's about it when it comes to the cosmetics. You don't get any lyrics or anything like that on the cassette or vinyl version. But... This is one of my favorite black metal records I own. And not only is it heavy as fuck, evil, it is filthy, fucking... It's, it reminds me a lot of Profanatica as much as it does Beherit. But, like, wow. These two maniacs are just so talented at writing this style of just like nasty evil fucking black metal to where it's like fuck yeah I can't believe that Morbid Messiah also does Moan of Zebeth it's like holy shit like where are these riffs coming from and just this amazing like vision of modern black metal with an ancient sound to it. And I see a lot of bands going for that. And some of them do a good job. Like Death Womb. Death Womb do a great job at that early Beherit worshipping style. Where I feel like Perverted Ceremony sound a little bit more along the lines of Profanatica than they do Beherit, but I do 
completely hear early Beharit on this record, but Sabata Bezil on cassette is just absolutely probably one of the most filthy, just heavy black metal albums I've ever heard. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I'm being dead fucking serious. When I first grabbed this, I, I really liked the way it sounded on Bandcamp. So, when I put it on my cassette player for the first time, I was just like, this is so heavy sounding. And none of that was substituted on the vinyl, except for... This is a lot dirtier sounding of a mix. As on the LP, you can hear a lot more atmosphere going on behind the main riffs. And mostly, I love the vocal delivery that Perverted Ceremony deliver on this release. And on their EP and their demo. And the thing I like a lot more about... The debut, then the demo, is as funny as I feel like some of those like sexualized samples are. It's a little awkward sometimes when somebody else is home and you're like blasting that shit and it's like, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're like watching a porno at full, full volume, but you're not. You're listening to some fucking evil as fuck Belgian black metal. And I love the cosmetics here. Just plain black vinyl. But as always with Nuclear War Now. Heavy fucking duty. This sounds great on wax. And I thought it sounded great on cassette. And I still listen to both. It just depends what mood I'm in. And if you're like. Dude that's a waste of money. Blah blah blah. To me it's fucking not. Like, not only did I get a sick poster, and that's, I would not buy a record for a poster, but like, it's sick to be able to, you know, get some cool ass cosmetics for one of my favorite black metal bands. Whereas the cassette, I'm pretty sure I snagged this from Head Split. I, I forget, but it just came as a regular cassette, but on this just grimy green. I, I, I love that color. And I'm sure this looks great on colored vinyl. I don't know what colors it comes in, but I'm guessing it's something nasty looking. Like, when I had the upgrade um, Ancient Spells of Darkness by Morbid Messiah's other band, Mo and Azebeth, I was really questioning it because I had to buy the Die Hard version. And... I was glad at the end of the day. I got a badass patch. Fucking, it was on this like really nice green vinyl, which normally I wouldn't care about. But the way it matched up with the artwork and just the overall vibe of the record, it really like made it feel a little bit more special. And I know that sounds weird as it's just cosmetics, but... In the back of my head, I was like, all right, this is the full experience by enjoying the LP release of this record that I really love. And I feel the same way about Perverted Ceremonies, Sabbat of Bezil. Like, yes, the cassette sounds great. And I highly recommend snagging a copy, especially if you're interested in how perverted ceremony sound as a band and you're not willing to shell out the $17 for the vinyl version at first because I purposely snagged the cassette version because first off the LP every time I went to buy it it was sold out and I was getting kind of frustrated and was like you know what oh fuck Head split has it, boom, and I grabbed the copy, and I just absolutely fell in love with this release. Like, this is played in the background of probably 30 videos, and I listen to it fucking constantly 
to where it really did feel like it was time for an upgrade. Not just because, like, I was worried about the tape dying or whatever. I really wanted to support Perverted Ceremony on this one because they brought me tons and tons of joy through listening to this record. And sometimes that's all it really needs to get in your head to be like, you know what, I'm going to buy a vinyl version of this album as well. A perfect example of that recently was in Coffinized Chambers of Deprivation. The cassette version, when I found out that it was kind of a different mix almost entirely than the vinyl version, which was mastered by Brad Boatwright at Audio Siege, which is why the drums sound way different on the vinyl version. And I love Maggot Stomp, but... Their LPs destroy the cassettes. I'm sorry, but they fucking do. Like, the, don't get me wrong. Like, I love my Frozen Soul tape. But, like, I would love it on vinyl as well. Like, I can't wait for my Gutless LP to get here. Like, again, I love the tape. But, like... After hearing how sick, like... Church of Disgust sounded on vinyl, and then Mortal Wound, I immediately grabbed the Encoffinized LP when the pre-orders went up, and I haven't listened to the cassette since I made that video. And that's just the way it is, where something like this, I still am going back and forth as I love both equally, it's just they both give me different vibes. And if you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? I understand, but to me, I'm kind of hearing two separate pieces of music, but they're the same. If that doesn't make sense to you, it lies in the vinyl mastering job. And I don't really know too much about it, but the mix is a lot louder. I can hear a lot more going on in the background, and I fucking love it. I love all these extra elements that the glorious tape hiss kind of had me missing as I was just riddled with filth from the cassette version of Sabata Bezil, where... Yeah, the vinyl's still filthy, but it's a lot more audible when it comes to the more atmospheric and just weird kind of lower in the mix elements that add to the atmosphere. But it's still absolutely heavy, absolutely evil, and just such a kick-ass slab of black metal filth from Belgium. I cannot recommend Perverted Ceremonies, Sabat of Bezil, their demo, and their EP enough. They're just one of those bands that in any way you can listen to them, enjoy it. But that's why I upgrade and that's why I upgraded Perverted Ceremonies, Sabat of Bezil. But we were blasting New Jersey's Massive Retaliation Arms of the War God on NVNM Productions. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule.